All right, it is unloaded. My name is Mark and welcome to Stonefall Knives. Now most of my content on this channel is me building and making knives, but I also have a huge passion for firearms. I love guns, I love shooting them. They're a fantastic way to spend time and with safe and responsible usage, they are just a wonderful, wonderful thing to have. Now today I have the Ruger Bearcat. This is a fantastic little gun, a very small, lightweight, 22 long rifle revolver. Now what does all that mean? Revolver refers to the revolving cylinder that holds the cartridges and moves the bullet into the path of the barrel and also puts them underneath the firing pin so that you can have a nice, easy shot with every hammer pull followed by a trigger pull. And that's when it goes bang. Now, this is an extremely lightweight revolver, excellent for the jogger and the packer that's gonna be in the back country, or even if it's not so much the back country, but you might come across critters that might wanna grab you. This thing right here is an excellent choice. And the 22 long rifle is an easy to manage cartridge, very little recoil, next to nothing. And it's very, very easy to accurate with, cheap to shoot, so you can be very, very well practiced with using it so there won't be this big surprise when it goes off. And a lot of people that I know that spend a lot of time in the mountains, really, all they carry is a 22 long rifle. Me, if I come across something pretty big, I do like to use something more like this. This is my Ruger Vaquero, one of the old ones on the Black Hawk frame. That means I can fire a much heavier weight cartridge from it. I like to carry this with some heavy, heavy, uh, what is it? HSM bear loads in it. That's what I prefer to carry in case I come across big game, including when I've actually been really close in on a grizzly bear. That's the gun I had, and it's the one that I'd like to have with that big heavyweight cartridge. But for most of what you're gonna be doing, a gun like this is gonna be perfect. The Ruger Bearcat is very small, smaller than the Ruger Wrangler. For that reason, it's very easy to pack away and forget that it's there. So if you are on a trail, and let's say a coyote comes out wanting to get at you, you can scare it off with a couple shots, and it is very easy to reload and very easy to eject its shells and use, and it will last a very long time being made by Ruger. Fantastic little firearm. And today, just to have some fun, I'm gonna shoot some milk jugs with it. And on the, on the last note of just my personal experience with this gun, I really do enjoy it. It is a fun little item to shoot. Well, I've got the milk jugs over there, and we're gonna see how many jugs it goes through. Now, the cartridges I'm using here are um, Federal. Let's see. And they are hard cast. With a solid nose because bullets what kind of bullet you're firing does make a big difference on how deep they'll go we got penetration on well, we got penetration on one two three and then a deflection and the bullet just kind of bounced off a of number four so I mean that's that's not bad for that little bullet. I mean these wo this uh, these holes are pretty small, so I mean you gotta be realistic. You are gonna be better off with a bigger gun, but that little hard cast bullet did make it through three drugs and scuffed the fourth. That little hard cast bullet did better than I thought it would. And in truth, if I was using a different bullet, it would not have gone as far. Like I said, the ammunition for these things is pretty inexpensive compared to everything else that's out there. So you can practice a lot and get really, really good with handling a firearm and aiming one. These shells make great little targets because they're very small. They're about the size of a human finger. And if you can hit them at a distance, well, at that distance, you can probably hit just about anything. 